this morning, I join you with rejoicing, thanksgiving, faithful supplication, and prayer in my heart. I praise the Almighty God of all creation, whose supremacy we, the people of Kenya, solemnly and humbly acknowledge, even at the moment of constituting our sovereign republic, and to whom we submit our aspirations in prayer every time we sing our national anthem. Kenya has emerged triumphant and sovereign out of the sorrowful midst of painful history because those who came before us endured harrowing sacrifice with heroic determination and faith in God and in our creator. The history of Kenya, therefore, is an ample chronicle of consistent struggle, unshakable determination, unity, and devout prayer. Prayer is not just an exemplary component of our heritage and a magnificent tradition. Prayer anchors our aspirations and devotion to God. The most important instruments and symbols of our republic constantly remind us to be reconciled with the almighty God, our creator. I thank the conveners of this national prayer breakfast, our good members of parliament, for bringing us together as leaders to rally the nation in its splendid diversity of creed and faiths, to unite in submission to God, and to take our dearest wishes, deepest needs, and foremost desires before the majestic throne of our benevolent creator. We kneel before God, praying for justice, our shield and defender, so that our nation can stand before any difficulty, any adversity, threat, or trial. There is no better time for us to pray as a nation than now. We have an opportunity to give thanks for the far we have come as a country amid global turmoil arising from pandemic, geopolitical crisis, economic shocks, as well as regional conflict, harrowing drought, a plague of locusts, and a closely contested election. 